वर्णिवे शरमणीय दर्शन मंदहासुचिराजुज पूजित सुरनरोतमेर्मुदा धर्मनंदनम विचित धर्मनंदनम विचित श्रीघनश्याम महाराज जय अवर सुप्रीम ऑल माइटी बिलउड कंस्याम महाराज पाथ में कठोर लिब्रेशन पूज्य पात गुरु जी ऑल ऑफ यू ड्यूटीज जय स्वामी नारायण We know at the time of Bhagwan Swami, there were many, many santos who came with Maharaj from Aksardam, and because of that, either from the birth or from their childhood, they saw different, different like divine powers or different such kind of incident to others to show the supremacy of Bhagwan Swami Narayan. Not only that, but in some other situation, some devotees, some saints. by their birth or by their childhood they even saw their that much devotion for bhagwan that we can say for that that uncommon devotion for bhagwan even in very early age there were many many such kind of saints and devotees but today we are going to discuss something about sachidanand swami there was a there was a village near uh there was a n- village by the name of moda in southern gujarat and there lived a devotee of bhagwan whose name was mota bai and this mota bai was from kshatriya caste and so he was very strong and fit by his body so he was very strong and physically meaning he had a uh, complete height like a uh, five uh, five five or maybe five or six feet and he was also like very strong like a six pack but that was not the characteristic of a devotee but he, as he was born in kshatriya caste so he had that uh, that uh, he had uh, that physical appearance but the most importantly he was as we know that he came directly from aksardam so uh, he had natural devotion for bhagwan swami narayan even uh, he was uh, after completing his childhood as he grew older and older then even before he engaged in married life at the time he had too much affection for bhagwan swami narayan and that's why he remained angrous day and night for the form of bhagwan swami narayan even while doing any kind of activities he remained engrossed in the form of bhagwan swami narayan and especially as he had too much affection for god so he remained uh, busy in meditating upon the form of bhagwan that was his uh, like natural qualities in his life because because of his previous sanskars or we can say that he descend from aksardam that's why we can see such kind of devotion natural devotion natural devotion meaning without any inspiration or without having any guidance he had such kind of uh devotion for bhagwan and that's why uh we can say that he did a uh, descend from aksardam and once upon a time during the monsoon season there was very heavy rain in that region meaning in the south in gujarat so as the rain stopped mutabai decided to uh go to the nearby river and take a bath so at the time because of heavy rain the river was flooded it was very heavy rain and that's why uh the river was uh amazingly flooded with the lots of water dirty water and at the time mutabai reached there near the bank of the river he found that the river was flooded but because his mind was engrossed in remembering bhagwan's divine form so he forgot about the river about the high level of water and he entered to the river as he entered the next moment 
what happened we all knew either we have experience or we knew we can understand what will happen as the force of the water was very heavy and uh, because of that the next moment as the as Mutaba entered to the water the next moment he he was threw away very far away in the in in the water by the force of the water and there after one or two minutes he was like uh he was sinking like inside the water again his body came out of the water came out on the surface of the water again the next moment again he was sinking inside the water and in this way he was coming up and down coming up and down and in such situation he had drunk plenty of water plenty of dirty water and on the other hand he did not know how to swim in such a tough situation or in such heavy flow of the uh, water so uh, he he decided that now this is this was his last day and after some moment he will be died but before dying he de desired to remember his beloved God and that's why he was remembering the divine form of Bhagwan. and at the same time Bhagwan Swaminarayan divinely appeared there in his divine form and he while holding both of Mutabai's hands Bhagwan took him out of the water and put his heavy body on the bank of the river there because of Sriji Maharaj's divine touch Mutaba is uh, like he was very uh, sick because of the uh, he had drunk plenty of dirty water of the river so instead of all these things as he touched he, he received the divine touch by Bhagwan Swamin and so um, he was uh, he, he became immediately normal as before as he was before so after that Bhagwan Swami himself instru instructed him that never enter in such a flooded water again this time I saved you but I'll not protect you again if you do the same in the future so after instructing instructing Mutabai Bhagwan Swami and disappeared from there and as he took too much time for taking only bath in the in the river so when Mutabai returned to his home the, all of his brothers and the other relatives they asked him why are you taking too much time only uh, taking a bath and on the other hand the relatives they decided as the river was flooded so he might be uh, sinking in, into the water into the water so he uh, the relatives decided that uh, Mutabe might be received their uh, received his death and that's why they mourned for that and as Mutabe reached to his home he explained to the others that my Bhagwan Swaminarayan himself divinely came there and he protected me otherwise I'll not be here and in this way he explained everything what had happened how Sriji Maharaj protected him from the sinking in inside the water so this was the first incident and after this incident as he received the divine darshan of Bhagwan Swaminarayan divine touch of Bhagwan Swaminarayan Mutabai he now engaged more and more in devotion after realizing the divine glory and greatness of Bhagwan Swaminarayan his divine power because he was protected by him in very tough situation and that's why he desired to dedicate his whole life for the devotion of Bhagwan Swaminar and that's why he engaged more and more in the meditation of the divine form of Bhagwan and because of that as he remained engaged more and more in devotion and meditation so he did not he didn't care anything for his physical body and not only that but even 
he did not care for any social occasion or uh, some uh, so the behavior with the relatives uh, how it should be and he forget everything and he did not care for any other person in his home and or whoever the guest may be come to his home but he did not care for anyone and he only engaged himself in the meditation and worshiping to Bhagwan Swami in his divine form so many times he behaved like very odd or we can say like weird and that's why the relatives they decided that uh, this Motabai he became like a madman and that's why they once decided to lock him inside the room and before locking him inside the room they tied they put a circle of chain uh, and tied the Motabai's hands and feet and then they locked him in inside the room but for Motabai there is no any pain or no misery because he had to do only one thing he desired to do only one thing and that's only meditating upon the form of Bhagwan. so even while sitting outside of the room or while sitting inside the room he had he can do his job meaning he can perform the meditation and uh, devotion to Bhagwan Swami and that's why he even didn't care for such kind of bondage and but on the other hand Bhagwan Swami and himself he cared for his devotees and that's why he now divinely appear again inside the room and he himself released Motabai from the circle from the bondage and after that Sri Jimarat blessed him with the divine power and because of that power because of that divine power Motabai received from Sri Jimarat he can go out and even enter whatever place he desire without uh, meaning he didn't uh, he after this incident he will not uh, restricted by any wall any doors or any locks or anything else if he even though he was locked inside the room and if he desired to go outside without uh, having like open opening the door or making a hole in into the wall he immediately without doing any such kind of things he immediately walked even he crossed the wall he, he can cross the door locked locked door and he came out so this was the divine power he received by Bhagwan Swaminar and as he, he was released and as Bhagwan Swaminar disappeared from uh, from that room so after the next moment he decided to go outside the room and immediately he was outside of the room the relatives his brothers and others they was thinking how how is this happen we have tied his hands and feet with this chain and we have locked ourselves the door and everything how is it possible then they reach to the room they reach to the door they found the lock then again they open the lock open the door and they again uh, lock Mutaba inside the room and as they lock the door immediately Mutaba came out of the room and the lock and key and the door they remain closed so all become surprised then Mutabai explained to the others that this is the divine power of my Bhagwan, my Bhagwan Swami Narayan after this incident the relatives also understood the glory and greatness of Bhagwan Swami Narayan and on the other hand now Mutabai decided to renounce the worldly relation world life and dedicated himself for the whole remaining life to the Bhagwan Swami Narayan and that's why he went to the Gadda and there he revealed his desire to Bhagwan and Bhagwan also knew him from the Akshardham so he accepted him 
and he initiated this motaba and gave him a new name Sachidanand Swami so even after becoming a saint he had increased day by day his intense love for Bhagwan Swami Narayan and because of his intense love how was his situation it was written in the scriptures that he had an inclination of affection for Maharaj and from the day he understood the satsang he understood the divine form of Bhagwan so while eating drinking walking and even during all of his activities he remember constantly divine form of Bhagwan and he had the highest level of affection for Maharaj and that was such a high level that if he would not get darshan within meaning while meditating on the form of God and if he did not found the form after closing his eyes then what happened he had then he would become extremely upset and due to extreme feelings of separation he would suffer across all senses and sometimes even blood would come out from his eyes instead of tears so in the case of any ordinary person whenever one has any kind of pain or any kind of separation or meaning or such kind of feelings inside then uh, generally all the people they cry and wh while crying the tears came out of one's eyes but instead of tears in the case of Sachidanand Swami as he had too much affection for Bhagwan Swami Narayan and when he did not get darshan of divine form of Maharaj within then at that time in the feelings of separation Sachidanand Swami was also crying but his tears was different his tears were made from blood not of like any clear water or something so in this way blood came out from his eyes instead of tears that was the highest level of his affection and on the other hand as Sachidanand Swami had that much affection for Maharaj so the same thing Maharaj had also great affection for Sachidanand Swami and that is why Maharaj also took Swami's care in each situation so once before becoming a saint meaning before Mutabai became a Sachidanand Swami at the time uh, Mutabai was living with his family his relatives at the time as the relatives they did not believe in God and Mutabai he was remain angry throughout the day in meditating on the form of God did not engage himself in any of his social activities so the relatives once decided to do the another things and once they gather many worshippers of goddess meaning the Puas so they were begin to chanting uh, different different mantras and hymns to invoke their goddesses and after that they pray to their goddesses to kill this person but what happened instead of killing the Motabai Bhagwan Swaminarayan make such a miracle that time that before Swami could say any word in reply meaning uh, when the those worshippers of goddesses they ask him that if your Bhagwan Swaminarayan is true God then he'll right now give us any miracle but Swami meaning uh, Motabai he did not give any reply and before that uh, he only said my Bhagwan is true and if you desire any kind of miracle then he'll definitely give you punishment in the form of miracle then without any delay Sriji Maharaj manifested there in divine form amidst the divine light and Maharaj then said you all evil people want to see my divine power let me cut off your head immediately all of them run away for their lives 
and actually Mara did not want to kill them but just wanted to save his devotees by showing his divine power to those who tried to bring harm for his devotees and some of the Buas return and bow down to Maharaj and ask for forgiveness in this way Maharaj protected Mutabai again from the danger and after the after this incident uh, as Mutabai become a Sachidan and Swami then once Swami decided to go to the Kach because at the time Sri Jimaraj was uh, staying in the region of Kach for the preaching satsang and uh, giving his divine blessings to the people. So Maharaj was traveling in the region of Kach and Satchidan and Swami was remaining in Gadda. So once he was dis he he dis desired to do the darshan of Bhagwan Swaminarayan's form. So for that he decided to go there to to the Kach. And at the time Gurra was near to the Bhavnagar and at the time uh, there was a ferry boats from Bhavnagar to Kutch. So Swami sat in one of such boat and he was sat for meditation and he was engrossed in Maharaj's divine form. And without a short period of time as he was engrossed too much inside the form of Bhagwan, so he was uh, like experiencing Samadhi and because of Samadhi he forgot his own body and his breathless body remained within the boat and he enjoyed the divine bliss in Akshardham. On the other hand, the other people who was watching Swami's motionless body for three days, so the people understood him to have died and so when the boat reached its destination, meaning at the one of the coast of Kutch, so there, people decided to perform the last, last ritual and cremation of Swami's body. And that's why they prepare a funeral pyre and put Swami's body upon it. Then, they just uh, begin to lead the fire to give the fire to Swami's body. At that time, at that moment, Sri Jimara himself divinely appeared there and he stopped the people to give the fire to the body. And he then woke Swami from Samadhi. Maharaj himself calling Sachidanan Swami, Sachidanan Swami, and while listening his name by his beloved Maharaj, Sachidanan Swami came in consciousness and then he saw Maharaj and came. Uh, then Swami rose and was surprised to see the gathering of people and he was uh, laying on the funeral pyre so he was surprising and he was asking the others what are you going to do then he uh, he came out of the funeral pyre and then he saw Maharaj and he came closer to Maharaj and Maharaj embraced him in this way Sachidananda Swami again protected by Maharaj while because Every time why Maharaj protected Sachidanan Swami? Because Sachidanan Swami didn't care for himself. He only cared for divine form of Maharaj. And that's why in every situation Maharaj remained with him. Even Maharaj cared for his food, water. Maharaj cared for his physical need. And even Maharaj cared for everything for him. So in this way, if this is the principle of the scriptures that if a devotee remain engrossed in the devotion of Bhagwan, then Bhagwan would uh, Bhagwan himself would do uh, Bhagwan himself will do everything for the devotee. But for that, only one condition, and that without caring for anything else, a devotee should completely engrossed in the form of Bhagwan. He did not have a desire for any worldly profit or losses. He did not have any kind of desire to gain any kind of pleasure or any kind of like uh, reputation in this world or attaining any such kind of greatness, meaning worldly greatness. And then if 
he putting everything aside and worship Bhagwan Swaminarayan only then Bhagwan himself was looking after him that was the moral of the story or we can say the lesson we can learn from the story that if we remain angrous in the devotion if we are thinking for god day and night if we are thinking god or his divine episodes while doing any activities then he will come he will divinely come to us to fulfill all of our tasks and that is why we can see in practical life that the great saints great devotees their work never remain incomplete or we can say the work done by the great devotees and saints are always very perfect why because as they were not performing that work they were only performing that devotion to bhagwan swaminar and instead of them bhagwan swaminar himself performing that work and that's why they were successful in each and every action or any project or any work in their life so let we pray to maharaj and the great saints like sachidanand swami that please grace us grant us such with the, with the such devotion for bhagwan swami and so that we can also engage more and more in devotion for bhagwan while saying this my humble jai swami narayan shri ganesh maharaj ni jai